Feel free to ask whatever you feel is necessary. <laughs> We've got questions Within lined reason. up. We've got questions lined up since training camp, Steve. Um, well, Andreas, how many? How much interest was there in him, and what ultimately made you pull the trigger? Well, I guess oh, um, we're trying to rebuild the team. We're trying to add draft picks and prospects. We've got to decide, you know. Everybody has a value. Some players have more valuable. Some players are more marketable than others. And if we're trying to rebuild, we're trying to add draft picks and prospects. We've got to go specifically to the players who are most in demand. And for whatever reason, uh, Andreas was several teams. I won't give you specifically, but several teams had inquired and expressed a, a serious interest. Where they kind of made, you know, the teams call about every, virtually every player. Um, this was where it seemed like this one could make sense for the Detroit Red Wings uh, in the short term and in the future. So, um, uh, again, I, I would say maybe he, he garnered the most interest, kind of made the most sense from our perspective and the return we were going to get, that he would be the player that would get part of it. The way he plays, if and, and buts and all that is all theoretical, but if this team was in a different state, if you guys were in a contending state, his game, his offensive upside, is he somebody you would like to keep maybe down the road? Is there just his game didn't fit with where you guys were in a rebuild? Um, it's not so much his game, it's it's where we are today, like we're rebuilding. If we were in this situation, if we were a, a playoff team, we're contending for a playoff spot, now we in all likelihood we wouldn't be se uh, sellers, so to speak. We, you know, we haven't made the playoffs for a few years, we're obviously not gonna make the playoffs this year, so that's really dictated what we did here, and then ultimately, you have to decide, you know, who, who are we going to keep, and and if we're going to move guys, we're not going to move just for the sake of moving them. We need to, you know, weigh off what the what the return is for each player, and ultimately, obviously, the return was two second round picks, and we felt that was a, a good value here for what we're trying to do. Hey Steve, why don't you think it clicked for him this season here? I don't really know. Ted. I, um, it was a difficult year one. He came into training camp had a. a it wasn't a major injury, but a minor injury that nagged him throughout the preseason. And we came in early in the season. And actually, if you recall, when, and I can't remember the game specifically, but numerous scoring chances. They just didn't go in early. Mm -hmm. And like honestly, it hasn't. Nothing has really clicked for us in in any way. You know, it's just been a bad year. And uh, what could go wrong has gone wrong. And I don't think it's. I'm not singling out at Andreas Athanasiu like. Uh, he, mostly he dealt with injuries and couldn't get into a rhythm and then we dealt with other injuries and trying to figure out who's going where and who's going to play and the season just flies by you know we, you know our schedule is you play so many games in short periods of time and it's hard to get things turned around you just don't you know you don't get that practice time you don't get those breaks and before you know it you're 60 games into it and you're at the trade deadline. Steve, Steve were you determined to get the best deal that you could at the deadline or did you consider also just waiting and seeing maybe if his trade value would pick up uh, these last 20 games and, yeah. and revisiting it uh, at the draft? Yeah, I was I, not in a position that I had to do anything and kind of, you know, anticipate uh, in any trade, what, you know, what's the return today? Okay, we can wait until the draft, see what, see what that may be, or we can wait next year, the year after, or never make a trade, you know, and kind of make a decision now based on what we think the value of the player is and what our return is um, potentially could be what would be different at the draft would be the next time we'd look to make a move and felt like you know the two second round picks uh, the value of those picks is uh, in in our minds was good enough return to be, to make that trade today Steve does it facilitate when I mean Ken Holland